Well, okay, Space Journauts, it is April 8th, 2024, and I'm a little late to this video, but I just wanted to let you know that there is a total solar eclipse happening today across the United States, parts of Mexico, parts of Canada. You can actually watch it live on Twitch with the National Esports Association, and I already know that Cypher PK, I'm not sure if you can see my screen here, but I was on his stream last night. Let's see. Can we see? Can we see? Can we see? He's offline right now, but he has an Eclipse Fortnite live event today, basically, as it's coming in, because he is among uh, a bunch of streamers who have teamed up with NASA and the National Esports Association uh, and Twitch and micro uh, Microsoft, pardon me, and um, uh, Epic Games to build a bunch of solar eclipse uh, uh, maps that people can check out. They're going to be uh, broadcasting it live today. Here, here, here's their their website, uh, nea.gg. Uh, they're going to be broadcasting it live uh, at 2 p.m. today, from 2 to 4, uh, and it's their Great North American Eclipse Look Up event. And you can actually take a Look Up Pledge Challenge uh, and and follow along with the Solar Eclipse. And when I ask them a little bit more about, hey, oh, look, here's me. So I can put Spacetron Plays. I can put my email. Where am I going to look up from? I can tell you all now that I am going to be in Potsdam, New York. Do, 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 do. My email is already on my YouTube, so you guys can send me a note and let me know what you think. I'm going to do a, you know what, I'm going to do an educator message here. And I'm just going to say, you know, good luck to all those Eclipse chasers, both online and in person. In person, we'll say clear skies and happy eclipsing. Is that a word? Eclipsing. We're gonna, oh, I misspelled happy, ha <laughs> ha. Great, so you can just fill all this out and submit it in, and I guess that's your message to everybody. Uh, oh, I took the pledge to look up. Ah, that's nice. So you can see here, it'll tell you uh, that they'll have a, um, a, a whole program uh, with NASA uh, from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. So you want to look up that in your uh, standard time. And it's going to be interesting because they told me um, that, uh, oh, and if you didn't know, by the way, <clears throat> the eclipse is going to go across Mexico through Texas, Oklahoma, uh, it looks like uh, parts of Arkansas, uh, uh, Ken uh, Kentucky, no, what is that? Uh, parts of Arkansas, Missouri, uh, yes, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, New York. That's where I am, right over here. Uh, looks like Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and then Canada. And then it goes off into the ocean. So uh, it does run from, let's see, what time is it? Over at space.com. Um, I'm not sure if I ever told anyone, but I am a space reporter for space.com. And, uh, and that's why I'm here covering it. But it does run from it's like 107 uh, p.m. all the way to about 4 p.m. You can see all these times here at what time is it uh, during the day. And you can find totality for your to your time zone. For folks in Newfoundland, that's where Nikkei 30 is. Uh, it looks like it's the, the eclipse is going to peak with totality at 5.13 p.m. their local time. Whereas for me, around here, it's around 3.27 basically, uh, actually 3.24 p.m. Uh, is what I'm going to get. Three minutes and 14 seconds of totality. Now, I've seen a solar eclipse before, and it was absolutely spectacular. I saw one in 2017, and, uh, you know, if you have the chance to see one, even partial, but I would really highly um, uh, recommend that if you live in an, a totality area that you... Um, you actually uh, take a minute to look up and, and see because it's not every day that you see the sun just blot out or get blotted out by the moon uh, and then it gets it, it gets dark it gets colder um, animals start acting funny it is spectacular to see I actually brought my daughter Zadie who you might have heard on some of the the videos uh, here to share it with her because I didn't get to share it with anyone uh, back in 2017 when I was working I was in a stadium full of strangers and this time we have um, we have friends. We have some family. It's going to be great. So, you know, if you're not familiar with what solar eclipses are, basically the moon every now and then, because of its orbit, crosses in front of the sun as viewed from parts of the Earth. Now, for most of North America, uh, they're going to see a partial solar eclipse. That means that the moon is not going to block the entire 
uh, sun, uh, and that's kind of what you see here. But uh, there will be moments, there will be moments um, when the moon blocks the entirety of the sun for the folks in the actual totality path. This kind of dark band right here, it's about 110 miles wide or so. And for those folks, they will see this weird diamond ring effect. They will see the, the corona, that's the outer atmosphere of the sun, uh, for a brief time. Uh, and uh, depending on how long totality lasts, uh, it will be uh, dark for minutes, uh, up to um, uh, several minutes, uh, or, or, you know, for the, uh, the eclipse. So here, here's kind of where the partial stage would start. And then you would have this diamond ring effect during uh, full totality right here. And then uh, you would have the uh, kind of end of it. And then that's the end of the eclipse. So, so if you are in an area to see it, I really highly recommend. And then just really quickly, to go over some of the games that you're going to see in the stream, because Cypher PK is one streamer, but they're going to have a good number of them. Uh, there will be a Minecraft game uh, called Look Up, where players have to escape the moon to get to Earth before the eclipse takes place. And you escape the moon by answering eclipse-themed questions and solving puzzles. And then in Fortnite, uh, like Cypher PK and others will have to venture through different areas that can only be accessed by, accessed by moving through different parts of the eclipse's path of totality. Um, so it should be interesting. I've got uh, some clips. I'll try to put them through here uh, uh, throughout the video. But this is just a big public service an announcement that there is, in fact, a total solar eclipse today. Uh, it, it runs from about 1 p.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, and uh, you can watch it live. Actually, you can watch it live on space.com. Uh, when can we watch it live? Let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess that you can watch it live from... You know, so the NASA live stream, we're going to stream it live um, from 1 to 4. Yeah, so uh, with peaks, you know, throughout the day. Because NASA will be following the the progression of the totality parts as it touches different parts of the country and uh, the continent, actually. So uh, so please do tune in. Do watch it. It is an amazing thing to see uh, the the National um, Esports Association kind of really got into the the mood by teaming up with NASA to show live views of the eclipse in the webcast they're going to do. You can follow them on Twitch at uh, um, twitch.tv slash esports NEA live. I'll try to put a link to that in, uh, uh, in the, the video below. And happy eclipse chasing if you were out there. If you are, drop a uh, drop a, a comment. Let me know where you watched it from and what it was like. And uh, happy uh, happy skies, clear skies. We're hoping for no clouds today, but we'll have to see. Um, and if you like this video, do like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. I try to find that intersection between uh, real space and uh, sci-fi gaming when I can. And this one uh, is a no-brainer. So uh, so clear skies to you, eclipse chasers, and don't get lost in space.